Good morning guys, welcome to my first day in the life vlog. So I'm pretty excited to be taking you guys through a day in my life. It's not a typical day, let me tell you. Today is jam packed, there is a busy schedule. Right now I am just making some oatmeal on the stove, having my delicious lemon water slash tea. So this is my favorite puka glow tea that I tell you guys about. So that's how I usually start off, and I start off with doing emails on my computer over there. So this is my uh, current uh, office, makeshift office area. So big news, I have big news for you guys. I moved and uh, got married, <laughs> basically. So I am very excited. I will be telling you guys a lot more details and you will see my husband more often in videos as he is a big part of my life. But for now, I'm just going to tell you that, just so you guys know what's going on. So because I moved, a lot of things have been happening. I mean, wow. And it has been a little bit overwhelming, to be honest, but very exciting. I mean, my life has changed dramatically and this is what I've always wanted. So I'm very happy. Uh, some very exciting things that I want to tell you guys and kind of what this video is going to be about is today I'm going out to go shopping to furnish uh, my new office studio space. So this is my second uh, space location for Shelby Naturals. I am so excited. So I have my incredible team manning my other studio for me, formulating products, fulfilling orders, which is really exciting. And this is gonna be more of my in-home studio. I will be making products and I it will be basically like my studio slash office area. And I'm really excited to show you guys actually. So this is the space. So it is this nice, beautiful room that is currently canary yellow. So a lot of the pink colors in this home, uh, I, they're very, the guy must have loved yellow and forest green. So <laughs> this will be painted. I will be predominantly, predominantly. I will be painting the whole home. So right now this is not even, I mean, anything, any of the things that are gonna be coming in. Um, but yeah, this is the space here. I have a big beautiful window there, which is where I'm thinking I kind of want my like office desk and then I'm gonna do a lot of shelving there, some shelving here. So a lot of things going on, getting rid of this uh, light, this ugly light that I don't like. And then this is gonna be an extension of the studio. So just some more space here. And my poor plant that my husband killed uh, I'm, it may not have been his fault. It could have been just the plant going into shock. But anyways, really sad about that. I love my plants. But yeah, this room is my favorite room in the whole house. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the windows. So our house is actually situated right in the middle of the woods. Uh, so And it's pretty close to uh, the closest city. And it's just a beautiful location. We are so... Happy we found it, so blessed. Uh, we just absolutely love the place. So yeah, this will be a sitting area as well. Again, gonna be all changing my gorgeous Montserrat plant and then my husband's uh, taxidermy fish. Actually, it's not taxidermy because it's not real. It's made out of steel. It's like a vintage tarpon fish, which is not going there. Uh, yeah, sorry, honey, uh, that's not going there. He stuck it there and got all excited, but it's like, uh, no. This is my room, sorry. Sorry, honey. <laughs> but yeah, this is the office. So this is what I will be going out today. I'm going to be going and hitting up Ikea, possibly some other furniture stores as well. But yeah, the plan today is to get some paint for this room. This is the first room I'll be painting, just some supplies for that, and then getting some furniture and shelving at Ikea. So that is what I want to start by doing and then I will be getting the equipment later and the industrial appliances as well. I'm just over the moon. I'm so excited. Shelby Naturals has been growing so much, so steadily and it's just so surreal to me. You know, If you guys are new to my channel, I'm just gonna quickly tell you Shelby Naturals is my baby. <laughs> it's my skincare line and I developed it because I personally struggled with very bad acne prone, rosacea prone, 
damaged skin for a good portion of my life. I had super severe acne and my skin has just transformed so much and not to say that that was just with what I put on my skin but it's also what I put in on my body and what I believe. I'm As a holistic nutritionist, I have just learned through school, through self-research. Um, I mean, as you guys know, following my channel, research on health is just my passion. It's what I love to do and I just believe that, you know, beauty is inside out and you know, it's attaining health and a good homeostasis balance on the inside of your body with what you're eating, how you're living. I mean, it's just so many factors. It's, you know, not just one thing, right? And skincare comes into that because if you're putting, you know, cheap chemicals on your face, cheap products, or you're using cheap oils, I found working in the natural skincare industry that a lot of brands cheapen down their formulations, they use cheap oils, rancid oils, and that really reacted with my acne in a negative way and made my skin worse. So that's really the reason I started is just to find a solution for that. So I'm going to finish my tea. I'm going to eat my oatmeal, which looks like I ruined it because I was talking so much and I kind of got distracted, which is what I do every day. But basically I use like coconut milk, oats, and a bit of maple syrup and some cinnamon and yeah, it doesn't look so good. So I have to eat that <laughs> and drink my tea. Oh, and I need to take out my enema coffee. So whenever I make enema coffee, I like to make a batch and I put it in the fridge. So I make some for my husband and myself. The beer is my husband's. So he, this is actually his last uh, little batch of beer that he went and bought before I got here. So yeah, sorry, honey, you won't be having any more beer because we're going on a cleanse. But yeah, this is my fridge right now. I just stocked up on a bunch of food and you know, don't hate me. I am using some plastic on some of my vegetables because I find that if I don't, the fridge will make all the lettuce, we, uh, the lettuce will all wilt. So I can't even talk. And I'm actually looking to change that over. If you guys have any suggestions, please comment it. The biggest issue I found, so when I stock my fridge, I usually just take, um, when I go to the grocery store, I take reusable bags. I don't use any plastic at all. And I found in the past that what has happened is that the lettuce will all wilt and then my peppers will get all wrinkly and all mushy and it just is not good. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, um, cause I'm currently looking to address this issue and I don't want to use any plastic at all. Those are actually my big Ikea reusable shopping bags that I bring with me. I just went last night. So I'm going to do drink my tea, have some oatmeal, do some emails and I will be back. Okay. So I'm just getting ready to leave. I'm actually taking my supplements because I forgot to this morning when I burnt my oatmeal. Honestly, today has been not going ideally, which is, you know, not good for the video because usually I have a good breakfast and everything. So guys don't judge me. I'm busy. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly take the vitamins. And I'm also going to take my iodine before I forget this. I don't even know, I can't even do this with one hand, or maybe I can. I put it in a shot glass. So I just got these like really cute little shot glasses at three, four, five. Sorry, I gotta count this. I do eight drops. This is the 5% solution. I got these shot glasses at Goodwill. They're perfect. I just put a little bit of water into it, like so. This is my Centivia water pitcher, best ever. And I just kind of like throw it back like a shot. It tastes like crap, so you just gotta throw it back. Okay, so this is my first outfit of the day ever. So if you guys are even interested, <laughs> this is my uh, camo pants, my men's Reebok sweater that I thrifted, thrift everything. Uh, this is, I don't know, a coat. I think I got it at Aritzia. Honestly, guys, it's just clothes I could literally just find because everything is such a mess right now. And apologies for the mirror. It is so dirty because I'm moving and I'm wearing Converse. And that is the look. And I put my hair up because it is greasy. Real life. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we got the GPS going. We are off. Bye, home. This is my llama thing that I have hanging on my mirror. And I just, maybe I should take it off because it's gonna like swing in the frame. I don't wanna take them off, it was so hard to tape it on. Okay guys, so, like I'm gonna turn 
turn down the music here. Fun fact about me, I listen to piano music all day. I used to play the piano. I'm gonna hold the camera because I'm going up a hill. I don't know how people vlog when they drive. Like, it's just really stressful for me. Okay, so I'm on route to Ikea. We live a little far, it's an hour and a half away. Uh, I lived about an hour away from Ikea when I lived at my other house, so it's a little bit longer, not too crazy. So I'm excited to get there. I'm just like deeply thinking about the space and like what I can fit into it and um, you know what I need, what are essentials, like you know, two big shelves are really essential for me. So just maximizing the space, I think, is something I love to do. I love, 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 like renovating and transforming spaces. I probably should have gone into interior designing, but I love my business more, obviously, so. So yeah, I'm just trying to like deeply think and I'm like kicking myself because I should have measured the small spaces and I wasn't thinking. And I mean, I did think like I'm gonna measure this, but I didn't do it, I forgot. And I don't even know if I have a measuring tape or where it's packed where anything is right now, so definitely gonna buy one and do that. And I don't even know where to get paint. Like, usually I get it at Benjamin Moore. Everything's just so different. It's like a new area, new location, uh, but I'll figure it out, I'm sure. Everything will be fine, so. In Ikea, I always find it ultra awkward like vlogging in public spaces, so I'm trying to get used to it because I haven't really done it that much. Uh, I love this light. I'm loving this light for the office. I think this is what I'm gonna go for. So I have to pick it up at the end and I actually really like this corner sofa on another topic for the living room. So I think that looks really super nice. But yeah, I'm kind of loving the vibes of this little setup here. I never come to the showroom, so I always go through the exit of Ikea to go right to the marketplace, but I thought today I would browse through the showroom to get like some ideas, some inspiration, see what's going on, but that light is definitely going to be in the office. I love it. Or and maybe even in the kitchen too. Super nice one. Okay, I am obsessing over this rocking chair. It is so cute, like obsessed. I can't believe it's 249 though. It's kind of expensive, but I really like it. Ugh. Okay, this is off topic. I need to go to the shelf section. <laughs> Whenever I come here, I want to spend so much money. Okay, here we get right to the couch area. Okay, so I really like this shelf here with the drawers. It's really nice for like storing products and just all the supplies and everything. So because I don't have measurements, I don't know if two will fit in that room for the studio. So I'm not really sure. There's one beside it that's a little smaller that's also nice, but it's not as tall. I like how tall this one is. And it has like glass shelves. It's also not as stable. So I'm not sure, but we could also drill it into the wall. So I actually really like those two. I was also looking at this type of shelving unit for the space, but I don't know how, I feel like it's too chunky, like it's too um, boxy. So I think it might be a little bit too big for that area. So I'm really leaning towards this one here, maybe getting two of these without, one without the drawers, like a full shelf, and then one with the drawers. So, I'm really loving this. Really loving this look. I just wish I took measurements. Okay, tables, tables, tables. Need an office table. I really like this circular table. See, I'm like so distracted. Oh, it's on sale. How cute is that? 
Hmm, this is a uh, too chunky, too big. I like this one. Again, like really chunky though. I don't think that's gonna fly. So I'm trying to figure out, man, this is so much thinking and like deciding, but if this, this is supposed to be like a closet solution shelf, but I'm wondering like if these could all be shelves, like kind of like a floating shelf for the office. Cause I need just like really small, minimal shelving. I don't know. And I don't, one thing I'm worried about is just putting so many holes into the walls and like damaging the wall. And is it going to be heavy enough? I mean, you know, like supportive enough for all the heavy you know, things that are going to be on this bottle. So I don't know, guys, there's so many decisions. There's so many different options. I mean, I'm just trying to figure, figure it out one thing at a time. But I did take some pictures of stuff that I like. So hopefully I can now make some decisions before my husband gets here to pick up all the stuff because he will kill me if he has to go into Ikea. So, so I'm gonna head into the marketplace and pick up the stuff now. I think I've kind of come with some concrete decisions. I'm still kind of like iffy about the table. I was looking at an office table like this actually. I really like this office table, but I'm trying to be smart at the same time because it's really thin and I know for me like I need space and if I'm going to start you know formulating I need a formulating table so I was actually looking at this like stainless steel kind of kitchen table that you can bring with you or like an option where like I could have a wood table which is what I use in the other studio so we'll have to see we'll have to see decisions decisions the one section that is non-applicable for now <laughs> non-applicable but how cute is all this stuff oh my goodness this little bunny that is adorable oh can't wait to have kids now entering the marketplace oh so i've made it to the rug section and really no one's in here which is super nice because i was feeling really awkward about doing this so i my favorite rug ever love this rug i'm thinking about getting another one I have one, I think about getting a bigger one. I don't know if they have a bigger one than the one I have, but let's check it out. Oh, those are beautiful rugs too. But, ah, $800. No, don't have that. <laughs> yeah, this is like my favorite rug. This is the same one I have. I wonder if they have a bigger one than this. I don't think so. It's realizing how tiring this is and getting everything ready. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, I barely got anything so far. Like I just got kitchen stuff. I mean, for my own kitchen and then for the office too. And then like a bathroom rack and whatever. Um, most of the furniture is at the end. So I've just been taking pictures, trying to figure out which things I want to grab. Um, I feel like I definitely have to come back maybe once or twice. Hopefully I can get a few more things. I just feel kind of overwhelmed. I feel like I didn't really plan enough before I came for me to make like concrete decisions, although that's how I've always been. <laughs> so let's see if I can make some decisions. Definitely need a ton of these for storage. These are my favorite bins ever. If I can like get it out. Oh yeah, I don't know if this is the same size. I feel like mine were bigger. I don't know if this is, whatever. a bunch of these. These are my favorite baskets ever. It's called Flattis, if you guys want to know. But I put like plants in them and they're just amazing. So those are my fave ever. I also am obsessed with this basket. I love this one so much and I use it for my laundry. So like as a laundry hamper but I'm obsessed with like anything rattan right now. I'm thinking about getting, I think that's how you say it, like Rattan or like rattan. It's like rattan furniture. So this is also really cute for firewood So I'm thinking I might actually grab one of those Although it is 40 bucks. So but that is very cute with all the firewood in I'm tempted. I'm so tempted guys. 
Okay, so now I'm debating between this wood one, like this one right here, and then that white one that I looked at previously. Um, I need two shelves, so I'm thinking I could probably do like one wood and then the one white shelf. So I'm not sure. I like how this shelf is wider than the other shelf, so it is has more width. But I don't know, it's not as tall. So this is about as, just a little bit taller than me. So I'm trying to figure it out guys. I don't know if it's gonna be too boxy for the other side because I don't have measurements. I'm like getting super tired and I brought a banana with me but all I had today was oatmeal which was a really poor decision and I'm like really hungry right now so I think I might just go and eat something at Ikea which their food isn't very good but it's better than being starving, so yeah, not a good idea for shopping at Ikea because I'm getting super tired and I'm actually really hot, so I keep going. I'm gonna keep doing this. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I got back from Ikea. That video ended really abruptly, so I just wanted to come on here and say I just stopped filming because I was so tired and so hungry. My husband ended up coming to pick me up like right after I shortly filmed that last snippet and we went to Chipotle and had dinner because we were both uh, super hungry and just super tired. We worked a lot that day. So I wanted to come on here quickly and show you guys. So I did end up getting some things, but I felt like I wasn't very prepared because I didn't get those measurements. So I refrained from buying like two shelves. I just bought one and I will definitely be having to go back to Ikea because I, so I did buy a measuring tape at Ikea and I still haven't found mine, but I took measurements of the wall and it can fit two shelves and um, an office table that I already have that I'll bring up and uh, move here. So yeah, just figuring out some things. So as you guys know, it's a lot of decision making, trying to figure out how to maximize the space, like what furniture to get. And honestly, like I don't like getting all my furniture at Ikea. I like to get quality pieces as well and I get things at other places. So it's just about figuring out what to get and what to do and yada, yada, yada. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got quickly. So this couch is actually like, I, it's an Ikea Ektorp couch. So I ended up just getting a cover for it. So this is, I haven't put it on yet because I'm washing it, but I bought a couch cover, which is great because my couch cover was white and it just got really, really dirty. So I got a couch cover for that. I actually sold our beige couch. Um, so I will be getting another matching Ikea couch to match this one. That's the plan. So those are the two things I got for, I also ended up getting that really nice basket for the fireplace, this one here, and I got, of course, more of these. I think, I don't even know why this is here. I think it got wet. Anyways, um, I got this basket here, which I really love, and this one is going to be great for like firewood, kind of like just for show. Check on my little Monsera plant there. And then I'll, everything is a really big mess right now, so I apologize. We, I ended up getting the paint, so I didn't go that night, but I got this color called Simply White uh, by Benjamin Moore. So I went to Lowe's and got that. Just some like paint supplies here. This is the white shelf that I got. Uh, can't even pr pronounce that, but that's the shelf that I got. The one with the drawers, so I got the one. I'll actually put a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I got one of those, and I'm actually, it will fit here, which is great. And I'm gonna get another one to go on this wall. So I only got one because I just wasn't sure. And then I just got some bins for storage. I got, you know, some of my favorite baskets. These ones, I'm obsessed with those. Uh, just for, you know, again, storage, decor. And then these are just some things I got for the office, uh, for, for a formulating, so just scoop bowl. Uh, we'll have to get more of that from the place where at the lab where I get it from. And then I just got these bins. So this is actually for storage as well of ingredients just to keep everything uh, just under, you know, right temperature, make sure, you know, it's sealed and whatnot. Um, that's more for dry ingredients, like for the scrub. And that's basically all I got, really. Like, it wasn't too crazy. Um, I also got this light that I was gonna put in the office, but I put it in our kitchen. And I really like it. My husband says it's super ugly. I don't know what his problem is, but I think it's really cute and I like it. I don't know if I like it there. Um, we're painting all this and things like, we're not keeping that table. That was just like, we got that at Goodwill quickly just to eat on, uh, cause we haven't really, um, 
had time to get furniture. We've both been like working like dogs. But yeah, what I really want to do is I want to paint this room, like get this ugly canary yellow out of here because it's just barf. And this totally ugly light, this focuses, like bugs in it. <laughs> okay, it's not like too bad, but it's just not, not gonna fly. So yeah, so we're gonna do some things, but I'm excited and I'm excited to take you guys along. I'll take you guys on my next adventure. I'm sorry that one was kind of not that exciting. I was hoping to get my husband in some captures, but he was really grumpy. He was tired. I was grumpy too. We were both tired and hungry and just like ready for bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's honestly not an ordinary day in the life. Uh, this is a very out of the ordinary, especially with what I was eating and my eating patterns and blah blah So I'll be sure to film a more ordinary day in the life when things get more settled around here right now It's more like a crazy day in the life. So a crazy Trying to figure things out, but hey, this is life. I'll see you guys. Bye